China cracked down on the elephant ivory trade recently very effectively, smashing the smuggling networks, and you can't buy ivory openly here, you will be punished for that. But mammoth ivory, because it comes from an extinct animal, it's legal. It's completely legal. So this ivory is mined. It mainly comes from Siberia, where it's preserved in the permafrost. And it's shipped out to, to China, which is the main market. And it's carved into ornaments of various sizes and motifs. It's not particularly high quality, as ivory is actually relatively low quality, but it's similar. So it's not a replacement for elephant ivories. But the concern, and this concern has been around for a while, is that with elephants being exterminated for their ivory, we're losing elephants. I think in the last century, we lost 90% of the world's elephants. Mammoth ivory can be used as a laundering method for elephant ivory. So to give you an example, a shipment comes in of absolutely legal mammoth ivory, labeled as such, and the customs let it through. But within that, you can mix elephant ivory, which they don't look that similar, but you can make them look similar. So there's been concerns that smugglers can use these mixed shipments, a legal um, product mixed in, covering and, and you know masking an illegal product look similar. We had 70, about 70 samples, about 40 samples of each ivory from elephant ivory that were seized by, um, by the customs here in Hong Kong. And we had various samples of mammoth ivory, completely legal. Some of it came from Siberian carvers, some of it were bought in China, some of it was in Hong Kong, it's completely legal. And we tested them all for the isotopic sickness of five elements. And then we could see that th those signatures are very, very different for two, uh, namely hydrogen and oxygen. And those elements come from water. So um, because they drink waters, they have different isotopic signature because of the climate where they live. It's quick, it's cheap, but it requires a lab. So the idea is that law enforcement work with laboratories who have that method dialed down, and then that can be made very efficient. So I think the results can be done in a few days.